hi guys thank you so much for clicking on this video so today i'm going to show you how to go from basic to this so stay tuned make sure you watch the video to the end so that you may learn a thing or two and also so that you may just enjoy the video it's very therapeutic So as you saw from the previous clip, I don't have any eyebrows, so I'm just going to fill them in with a pencil and today I'm doing three different shades of eyebrows. I'm doing black, I'm doing green and I'm doing red. So over here I'm just doing the red part. Okay, it's like a burgundy shade that I'm using to draw and then on the, at the last, on the wing tip of the eyebrows, I'm using a green shade as you can see in the video. And then right now I'm just proceeding to fill that in, fill it in. And I'm just doing short strokes. I'm not just coloring it like a coloring book. I'm just doing short strokes. And I'm so sorry guys if you can see me sniffling and sniffling. I do actually have um, allergies and it's allergy season over here where I stay. So you'll see me sniffling a lot. For this stage you can see that I'm just taking my concealer and I'm using it to define my brows and also to make them look a bit more natural, you know, to remove the extra harsh lines that I've drawn to outline them. Everything that I'm using in this video, I'm going to put it in the description box below. So make sure that you check out the description box below so that you can see the products that I used. I used very affordable products. Or basically, in Kenya, we call them cheap. I used the very cheap products. So it's something that anybody, common one, ain't you, neza, afford, diko kwa nyumbayako, probably, if you if you already use makeup. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to link them in the description box below. And then next I'm going to prime my eyes because I'm doing very bright colors. I'm going to make sure that I use a white uh, primer so that the colors can be visible. And this primer kicks really fast so I'm just brushing it out hurriedly before it dries down because it dries down really really fast. And I'm just applying a second layer of that primer just to make uh, sure that it's, that base is really white and really visible. And here I'm just taking a black eyeshadow and I'm just using it to draw a line, kind of like an, an S towards the, the brow bone. Yeah, towards the brow, the wing of the brow, as you can see very self-explanatory if you have eyes clearly i'm just drawing <laughs> Now 
next i'm just using a highlighter shade um it's like a a bronze a bit of a bronze golden light shade to highlight my brows and i'm just applying it above that black shade just below my brows Next, I'm taking this concealer and I'm using it to create the cut crease. Uh, I'm just basically creating a straight line. You know the way that black eyeshadow created a zigzag blacks over there? Now I'm just eliminating those zigzags and making sure that it's a straight line so that the next eyeshadow can look as if it's um, clearly demarcated. It's clearly a straight line. And I'm taking this red eyeshadow. I know in the camera it comes off as pink, but it's very, very red. That's my mistake on my part, on my camera's part. It's a red shade. So I'm applying this red shade. Actually, this makeup tutorial um, was supposed to be the Kenyan flag. Unfortunately, I ended up using a wrong shade of green, as you're going to see. The Kenyan flag is red, black, green, and white. But unfortunately, I used the wrong shade of green. I used a uh, teal. A teal shade instead of green and that's the reason why it's not a Kenyan flag makeup tutorial so as you can see I'm applying the red shade and now this is the part that spoiled the Kenyan flag makeup tutorial but anyway it ended up producing something nice something better and I'll still do the Kenyan flag makeup tutorial for those who don't know I'm a Kenyan so yeah as you can see this color there is teal and you can just compare it with my the green that I used on my eyebrows the, the one on the eyebrows is green but this one that I'm using is teal it's definitely not green but it looked green uh, but yeah it's teal And I'm just taking the same eyebrow pen, uh, not eyebrow, this, was, this is actually an eyeliner pencil. This eyeliner pencil uh, that I used to draw my, my brows with at the end to create the wing of the brows. I'm using it to line my eyes, as you can see in the video. And I'm just taking a white shade and I'm just tapping it in the inner corners of my eyes. Now it's time for foundation. This is actually a wrong shade of foundation for my skin color. But of course, if you're going to try and do this makeup look, of course, you'll just use the foundation of your choice. And... Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, dabbing it all over my face. I normally feel like uh, that, that won't waste product. So just dabbing it on my face before I use a brush. And I did use a brush, although it's not in this video. I used a brush to, to apply it all over my face. And now I'm just taking this concealer and I'm using it to... This is the same concealer I used to define my brows. I'm just using it to highlight my face. So I'm just highlighting under my eyes. Uh, on my nose and also on my jawline and I'm just taking this contour brush and I'm slowly dabbing in the concealer concealer doesn't dry down as fast as foundation so you actually need to set it so after Dapping down using a, a foundation, uh, not a foundation brush, a, 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 a contour brush. I'm just going to take um, a setting powder and I'm going to apply it all over the areas that I've concealed so that uh, 
it it can look nice and finished and highlighted And now I'm just taking this setting powder and I'm actually using a beauty blender to just dab it into the face. So the, the setting powder will stay on the face until my face bakes or whatever dries down. I don't know what setting actually is. It, of course setting means uh, to make the, the makeup stay in place. Yeah, but um, you know, it kind of usually feels dry afterwards, I guess. So it also dries down the concealer. And I'm just going to proceed with my lips and I'm going to highlight the cupid's bow first and I'm just using ordinary highlighter for this purpose. I'm just taking the same pencil. Um, uh, I, I, it's a, this is not really an eyeliner pencil, this is just a multi-use pencil, the, the one that was in burgundy that I applied on my brows and I'm just applying it all over my lips. And I'm going in with a red shade of lipstick just to, to match that red that I applied on my lips. You know, I'm an African. Honestly, to be honest, if anybody has ever noticed, Africans rarely do nude lips. Like, even if, we are, even if our eyes are going to be bold, we'll still apply that bold lipstick. We won't just leave it over there with a brown lipstick or a natural looking lipstick with lip gloss or something of the sort we just tend to do bright colors and it it, it actually reflects in our day-to-day -day everything because even our dressing we like bold colors we like bold everything we, we don't um what is it called we don't minimize yeah we don't minimize when it comes to colors so just understand guys if this is not your cup of tea I totally understand but please don't leave me in comments in the section in the comment section because that's just how we do our makeup we tend to do like bold lips and at the same time bold eyes so sort of like runway looks that that's our thing that's our thing and for this part i'm just highlighting uh, not highlighting i'm contouring my nose and i'm just using a bronzer shade and i'm actually just using like a, a compact powder actually that is like three shades no two shades darker than my skin tone for this purpose and i'm just applying it uh, all along my nose and also to yeah to contour it and as you can see i'm now taking a highlighter shade and i'm applying it all along the bridge of my nose and also at the tip of my nose a circular motion so that my nose can look as if it's facing up <laughs> when actually it's just facing down And I'm going in again with that uh, bronzer shade just to like clean everything up. My nose is actually crooked so it, it's really hard for me to draw a good highlight. It's crooked because I broke it but yeah. And now guys this is the finished look. I hope that you've enjoyed this makeup tutorial. It, it's bold, it's bold, it's bold, it's bold. I don't know if you're going for a wedding or something of the sort. I don't know where you'll go with it. To the club maybe, somewhere but it's it's good it's good thank you so much for sticking with me up to this point i'll see you in my next video and don't forget to like and subscribe